Yep, that's your boy Drizzy. Drizzy or Drake. Is the NBA going too far with allowing Drake to do too much in the league? I'm asking y'all. Y'all the fans. Y'all watch more games than I do. I get disgusted and turn games off with the way the NBA is today because I'm old school. I remember when there was plays being ran, people played the post. You know, I remember things like that. Now, remember back in September, I know people's memories don't go that well with social media. Drizzy had his tour was going on, and he decided to bring out Kevin Durant when he was in Orlando. I mean, not Orlando, but Oakland at the Oracle Arena. Y'all remember that? Well, I do. And this is what happened with Drizzy. Then comes good old Drake night <laughs> in Toronto where they let Drake mean mug players and get all in their face and people trying to play a game out here. This is why I don't like what's going on with the NBA. They allow this foolery to take place. If Drake want to play around with his friends, you do it out there in Cali or Canada. You know, I don't want to see you playing around with them during the NBA game. You know, they wouldn't let Spike Lee run out there and play around with the Knicks or the Chicago Bulls. You know, Spike was blamed for losses. But this guy goes from wearing a Durant jersey from Toronto, supporting Toronto. But in Toronto, it's Drake Day. Everybody gets to show up to see Drake act a fool while they trying to play a game out here. But don't hear from me. Let's let them talk about it. Wednesday night was Drake night at the Air Canada Center. And apparently Kevin Durant isn't a fan. During a post-game interview following the Warriors' win over the Raptors, Drake walked by and bumped KD, interrupting his train of thought. By the look of the death stare on Durant's face, he wasn't too happy. The Warriors forward was later asked what he thought of Drake Knight in Toronto. And, well, let KD tell you himself. I don't give a damn about our damn Drake Knight. And Drake, there you go, playing around, bumping Kevin Durant after the game. Like, do you know him like that to play like that with him? He was looking like, dude, you playing too much. Like, you know, let it go. This is, is this the new NBA? When has this become cool? When has this become, this is what you're supposed to do on the basketball court? I didn't see people get hit for less. This right here is the type of stuff that ruins friendships. And I don't know if the NBA wants to keep promoting this type of foolery. Yeah, it's going to get social media hits and all this stuff, but... You just took the attention away from the Toronto Raptors, who's supposed to be playing against the Golden State Warriors. Now it's about Drake and Kevin Durant. You see how stupid the NBA is when it comes to making these type of decisions? 
Drake versus Kevin. How stupid does that even sound? But yet, it all fits under the umbrella of social media. That's why it makes me sick sometimes. And this is why people are having a hard time watching the games. And you're going to start watching the demographics. It's going lower and lower. More people are not watching the NBA. Trust me. It's the younger folks that's watching it. And they don't even watch it. They watch it sparingly. They'll watch a quarter or two, then they'll flip around and go do something else and come back. They'll just flip through channels. And then they'll watch the highlights on ESPN. Nobody's watching the full games no more. That's why they don't know anything. And they'll be like, man, look, Curry went off last night. You see Sports Center? They don't watch the games. And with this kind of foolery going on, why would you? 